everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So today I'm here with the final flip through of the Dear Mila journal. This journal is uh, based on a story from a book that I found. So the ephemera and lots of things inside of it are made from that book. It's actually a lost and found story from Wilhelm Grimm and it's been illustrated by Maurice Sendak of Where the Wild Things Are fame. So let's get into it. <laughs> this book is um, a vintage book from the 70s. I used it for the color. I really like this soft um, pink with the the overall colors of the book. Hopefully you can see um, the cover. I've embossed this book page um, image and um, I've backed it with a nice thick cardstock to give it some height. It's embossed in iridescent sparkling um, embossing powder so hopefully you can see the sparkle and the iridescence to it as I move it around. Then I used four brads to attach it here. Then on the spine, we have a couple things going on. Um, I'll show that to you in a moment when I open it, but on back, you'll see I've got a writing board here. This was made from the original um, book cover from the the book that I've used throughout this book. So the closure is an embedded um, vintage seam binding in this nice kind of aqua shade. Um, the colors in this journal are very soft. Um, so here's the writing board. I'll just take it off there. So this is just the um, embossing of this beautiful kind of two uh, twigged kind of plant. And that was on the cover of the original Dear Mila book. And I just left the back alone. So it'd be just a nice surface for you to use to write on. Um, so now that we've opened the journal up, you can get a better look at the cover. It's um, sort of this mother and daughter looking at a waterfall. There's a little rose, rose bush here and she's holding like a daffodil. So this story essentially is about um, this, this family and the, the fact that where they lived um, that wars began and so the mother had um, sent her daughter out into the woods to try to keep her safe and so she ended up staying um, what became 25 years with this old man who was kind of like an old magic kind of wizard type man and um, she had a great life with him but then she eventually got to return to her mother so it's a really lovely story um, there's some original embossing down here um, from the original book and I just like how it kind of anchored this this image. So on the spine there is some gold um, flowers from the original book and then I've stitched on this piece of vintage lace here and there's a little tie that's the same color as the um, all the ties that bind the book. Then I added a little um, embedded bookmark at the top with these little Swarovski crystal beads on it. So it's embedded right through the top. That's the back of the book. Um, so now let's open it on up. So I've tried to include a lot of the story still within the journal as I try to typically do. So first it begins with Dear Millie. Um, and, and that's the name of the girl in this, um, this story. So this is the Dear Millie journal. Um, and the end papers are created with original book pages and I've layered up some of the, the beautiful plants in this book right here to make this little tuck spot pocket um, and I just think that this rose tree is just a beautiful image. Um, so this Dear Millie little booklet here is just made from a botanical vintage art book page and inside I've added the story to the front and back and it's um, filled with coffee dyed paper but I'll just quickly read it to you so you understand what what this book is about. On September 28th, 1983, the discovery of a previously unknown tale by Wilhelm Grimm was reported on the front page of the New York Times. After more than 150 years, the Times noted Hansel and Gretel, Snow White, Rumpelstiltskin, and Cinderella will be joined by another grim fairy tale character. News of this dramatic find made headlines around the world. Now, five years later, we take particular pride in publishing the first edition of Dear Millie, magnificently illustrated by the preeminent children's book illustrator of his time, Maurice Sendak. The story of Dear Millie was preserved in a letter Wilhelm Grimm wrote to a little girl in 1816, a letter that remained in her family's possession for over a century and a half. It tells of a mother who sends her daughter into the forest to save her from a terrible war. The child comes upon the hut of an old man who gives her shelter and she repays his kindness by serving him faithfully for what she thinks are three days. 
actually 30 years pass. When she finally leaves to return to her mother, the old man hands her a rosebud and says, never fear, when this rose blooms, you will be with me again. As for the pictures the, that interpret Dear Millie, they are clearly a milestone in Maurice Sendak's career, the work of a master at the height of his powers. So that is the summary of the story. Then the letter that they speak of that um, was written by Mor um, by Wilhelm Grimm is here. It was included in the front of, of the book. So um, I'll quickly read it to you just because I, I, I tore it out. I've um, dyed it, backed it with avocado paper with a flower here, but I'll quickly read it to you. Dear Millie, I'm sure you have gone walking in the woods or in green meadows and passed a clear flowing brook, and you've tossed a flower into the brook, a red one, a blue one, or a snow white one. It drifted away and you followed it with your eyes as far as you could, and it went quietly away with the little waves farther and farther, all day long and all night too, by the light of the moon or the stars. It didn't need much light, for it knew the way and it didn't get lost. When it had traveled for three days without stopping to rest, another flower came along on another brook. A child like you, but far away from here, had tossed it into a brook at the same time. The two flowers kissed and went their way together and stayed together until they both sank to the bottom. You have also seen a little bird flying away over the mountain in the evening. Perhaps you thought it was going to bed. Not at all. Another little bird was flying over other mountains. And when all was dark on the earth, the two of them met in the last ray of sunshine. The sun shone bright on their feathers, and as they flew back and forth in the light, they told each other many things that we on the earth below could not hear. You see, the brooks and the flowers and the birds come together, but people do not. Great mountains and rivers, forests and meadows, cities and villages lie in between. They have set their places and cannot be moved, and humans cannot fly. But one human heart goes out to another, undeterred by what lies between. Thus does my heart go out to you, and though my eyes have not seen you yet, it lies loves you and thinks it is sitting beside you and you say tell me a story and it replies yes dear Millie just listen so that is paper clipped on with this cute little rose gold envelope paper clip because it's a letter um, to this original beautiful book page illustration um, that flips out I, I kept the whole thing in, in place because it's just gorgeous on both sides so that is where you can find the original letter right in the front here <clears throat> So just pop that back on there with this paper clip. Am I doing this right? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> it's still a little early this morning. <laughs> I should mention that. <laughs> Why? Oh, I see what I've done. Okay. There we go. There we go. Apparently paper clips are not my forte this morning. <laughs> Avocado dyed paper with a bit of stamping up top. Um, this page is just a nice kind of soft yellow and I've done some stenciling here and there's this nice gold trim. Um, more stenciling and then a belly band. These are both made from original book page um, and I added some lace and this owl and this little bit that says talk to owls and have adventures at the bottom and it's on this nice um, scrapbook paper with this mushroom and just kind of a woodsy tone to it. So this is an original illustration from the book of the mother and Millie and their dog sitting outside like a little hut um, with flowers in a basket. So that is a journal card that just pops into the belly band here stenciling and some handmade paper. This is a macro photography image of a white flower stenciling. This is a pocket um, and um, a journal card, both made from the original book page. It says the time of dragons and unicorns and has this nice moth here. And then this is um, depicting sort of the war that's going on um, right as she's sending Millie into the forest. And then back here we just have some kind of Art Nouveau-ish style um, paper. I did use papers in this. Um, I forget are they home book and treasure I think yeah they're home book and treasure papers the ornate collection um, this is um, just a nice botanical book page with a bit more of that ornate collection and some of the uh, stenciling up top and then I used some pages in this book because you know she went into the woods and I wanted to kind of give it a bit of a woodsy feel so this these pages with these birds and these beautiful like um, little bits of writing about the birds um, they're from a book called the cuckoo's haiku so they have haikus on them and this one is of course about the blue jay and then over here we have a sparrow 
And this is some coffee dyed paper with stenciling. And here it says Wild Woods. This is the center of the first of four signatures. Um, and I've added this vintage tatted doily here. I just think it's so beautiful. And this is a tab I created from the original book page. Stenciling. Uh, the other side of the Cuckoo's Haiku page here with more of these beautiful birds. And this is from um, a vintage art book. It's some moths on some um, purple flowers, and some yellow flowers. And then the other side of that uh, macro photography floral book. And then that actually flips out and has lots of stenciling on it. And it says, if there be or ever were one such, it's past the size of dreaming, a quote by William Shakespeare. And more handmade paper. This one's nice. It has lots of strings of plants in it. Um, and then this is stenciled. Over here we have a pocket and a tag, both made from original book page. It says Night of the Storm, and um, this is just a nice piece of weathered wood paper. And that has fabric up top. And this is um, stenciled, that yellow paper with the gold trim. Avocado dyed paper that's been stenciled. Um, this page is a flip open of the original book page of the girl in the woods and she's oh, there's this little um, cherub is always sort of around in a lot of the imagery and um, on this side I stenciled the page added some a big fabric pocket and some vintage uh, lace and inside we have this tag with these moths and I've s stitched a flower at the top a silk flower it's backed with avocado dyed paper and this actually flips this way too so the pocket extends and there's more lace to this side um, and then inside we have this large tag this is my eco printed fabric on top and it says in the still dark night and it's um essentially the little girl leaving the cottage to go into the woods and then on this side we have um, some lace and this is on an original book page with a belly band made from the book page and some nice sparkly elastic lace then this is an image from the cuckoo's haiku as well just this beautiful bird and some fall leaves and that just pops in there and then this is like a fall kind of page with this little um, leaf at the bottom, some stenciling of stars on watercolor paper. It's um, on this side, I'm not sure if you can see the very fine detail, but it has like a, a very light damask that's been avocado dyed on it. And then some stars that are stenciled down here. This is a pocket and um, a journal card that are both made from the original book pages. I added some sparkling rickrack to this one and it says on the branches of the vine. And then this is just a nice landscape in the back. It's actually from Anne of Green Gables. Um, on the back here, I just stamped this as a postcard, which could be mailed if you wanted to. Um, this is just a nice purple page, sort of a bit of violet coming in here um, with this crow, some more of the stars to kind of go with the gold on this journal card that has just been um, rusty paper clipped on this yellow construction paper with some star stenciling. And it says into the wood. This is organza fabric and it's just very blue and purple. The back is collaged with avocado paper, dye paper, and that just clips on there. Um, oops, I've clipped two together here. There we go. Um, so this is just a nice sort of three shades of red uh, scrapbook paper. The back is stenciled. And this is some of my most recently dyed paper with black walnuts. Um, then this is a flip out from the Cuckoo's Haiku. This one has the common grackle. And I love the colors. And on this side, it just says autumn. And um, I just matched it up with this nice um, construction paper. It's like a pinky brown. And then there's some stenciling on this side, some um, Chinese lantern and um, these flowers, more of the Chinese lantern. And then this is coffee dyed paper with some speckles. And the center of the second signature is this book page. So this is the little girl and her dog with the old man and more of the stenciling and um, a tab from the original book page, more stenciling. And another page from the Cuckoo's Haiku with the American Robin. And on this side, the Cuckoo, um, the black, the black-billed Cuckoo. 
These pages are just beautiful watercolor. This is more of the um, black walnut dyed paper and some of the stenciling on the back of the scrapbook paper. This is just an image from a vintage botanical book. Um, it says birds might well wonder and it's on yellow construction paper. This is some violet colored paper with little dandelion, um, those little dandelion seeds that have been stenciled on. Um, this is just kind of a nice soft page. It was a fly paper in a vintage book. And this is the watercolor paper that has been damask dyed with um, avocado dye and a bit of stenciling. This is like a fall leaves kind of page and I've stitched on the side here this um, nice pink lace. This is an original book page. You can see the little girl here and this castle and the moon. Um, this is scrapbook paper with just some nice botanicals and a butterfly and I added um, this gold trim at the side stenciling. Then this is a flip out. It's actually from an Anne of Green Gables journal and it says, mustn't it be splendid to be remarkable and have compositions written about you after you're dead? Oh, I would dearly love to be remarkable. And on this side, um, this is sort of a flip in. And so I've used some of the ornate collection up here. And then I just added the original book title of Dear Millie. Um, and that just tucks up in this little bitty pocket here. It's kind of cute. Um, Actually, let me do it this way so that, yeah. Then um, that tucks back in and on this side, there's just this pretty watercolored bush and a tag inside with a forest. And it's backed in some silvery paper. It kind of goes with this ornate collection. This is coffee dyed paper. Um, some stenciled, uh, just sort of a nice soft pink paper stenciled with leaves on front and back. And then this is a little pocket spot that I made from the original book page. And it has um, an old poem from the 1800s on it that says, What would the world be once bereft of wet and of wildness? Let them be left, oh let them be left, wildness and wet. Long live the weeds in the wilderness yet. And this is um, from a vintage art book. It's just a nice soft botanical painting. And this is a tag with these lovely black, um, I believe they're actually robins, right? Red breasts. So um, this is a rusty paper clip on the botanical art book. Um, and this is a large journal card I made from the original book illustration and on back this is also from the original book have these beautiful roses that follow right through the theme of the book this is more of the macro um, photography of flowers the back is stenciled this is handmade paper and then this is an image from the original book um, and it's on a flip out so there's more extra writing space over here and this is just um, a beautiful painting of poppies some stenciling um, and a little thing here that says silence cloaked the entire grounds and a tab made on coffee dyed paper from the original book. This is avocado dyed paper with these dots. Then the center of the signature is a book page. More of the avocado and coffee dyed papers. Um, this is a pocket and a tag made from the original book and then I've done this stenciling up here to kind of look like the moon or the sun and it says magic by moonlight and this is um, some gold organza up top and some of the ornate collection on bottom so that just tucks on in here more of that poppy painting hand dyed paper more of the macro photography of flowers and it says here plate 15 anemone um, so it's the type of flower and then uh, stenciling and then there's just um, a tab here with a butterfly and some flowers this is stenciling this nice soft pink paper coffee dyed paper and this is another page from the Anna Green Gables journal and it's just some botanicals and on the back I decided to just leave this here I thought it was kind of cute it's just a cow in a field with woods in the back I thought that might be something that maybe the little girl might look out and see um, you know from the woods looking back at a village where she came from um, and then some stenciling of leaves here more of that botanical paper with the gold trim and this is an original book page with a little girl here holding a bowl and she's in the cabin um, and then some green and white lace on the side some stenciling here 
And this is a, an upper tuck spot and a journal card, both made from original book images. This is on botanical scrapbook paper, and this has that cherub. It's actually from the book cover of Dear Millie. And then this is um, just the dog and the table outside of the little hut that they lived in. Little cabin. Stenciling a little fall leaf sticker on some nice green minty paper. Um, and this is dyed paper with black walnuts. This is from a vintage um, book, a science book about plants. It's just beautiful botanical florals. Um, this is the story of my life and it's just this nice linen paper. And I've stenciled some kind of clocks here to sort of um, hearken to the theme of the book, which is that the little girl thought she was with the old man for three days, but it was actually kind of an enchantment and it was 25 years. Um, and this is um, a page from a botanical art book um, with the Chinese lanterns again and the, these um, silver dollars. This is vintage music paper, and this is um, a collaged um, bill envelope with the two um, windows, window envelope. And I've used the ornate collection to kind of cover the whole thing. This is a page from the book that's been used on a tag, and I've added a silk flower up top. So that just tucks right in here, and you can see it peeking through the windows. This side um, is a little tuck spot that I made from the book page with roses and there's um, this is a beautiful page from this book about a squirrel like that or a chipmunk a chipmunk's life and it has these gorgeous paintings of nature in it and then this is a tag that's made um, from the book page and it has this old 1800s poem and my eco printed paper or sorry um, ribbon up top and it says how to keep is there any day is there any none such nowhere known some bow or brooch or braid or brace lace latch or catch or key to keep back beauty keep it beauty 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 from vanishing away oh is there no frowning of these wrinkles ranked wrinkles deep down no waving off of these most mournful messengers still messengers sad and stealing messengers of gray so I felt like that poem just really went with this page because this is a depiction of the mother, of M Millie's mother, as an old woman right when Millie, she sees Millie coming home to her after 25 years. And I felt like it sort of, it could be a depiction of how probably she'd heard rumors throughout the years about her daughter and just watching her life kind of, you know, go on without her daughter and her age and, you know, all of those kind of things that we all go through in life. This is another of those beautiful pages from that book about uh, the chipmunk, and it has these amazing mushrooms on a log. I love that page. Um, I have a rusty paper clip holding this journal card. I stitched my um, a fabric leaf that I made up top, and it's just made from original book page of Millie, and that is the vintage 1800s music paper. So we'll just paper clip that back on. And on back we have more of the Chinese lanterns and the silver dollars more of the clocks here and it says more happy than ever so I put that there to kind of think about how she would have felt returning to her mother um, more of the linen paper and this uh, vintage botanical paper that flips out I just have to take the card off to do that there we go this one's nice it has thistles on it and poppies both sides are beautiful um, then I've added this large journal card here, and this is of the old man and the dog and Millie and the moon. It's just really pretty. And on back, I added my botanically dyed rust dyed paper. Um, it's dyed with eucalyptus. This is a uh, paper dyed with black walnuts and a tab from the book page. Then more of that minty colored paper, and it says dwarf birches and bird cherry trees. Some stenciling botanical scrapbook paper, more stenciling on this light pink paper, then a little tuck spot here with this, um, this is actually one of my watercolors and I just um, inked it to kind of tone down the colors. This is um, a vintage um, field guide bug book. And then this is a tag that I made. It says madcap violet and has a butterfly and a mushroom and some lace up top. That just tucks in there. 
and then some vintage ledgers. Uh, I've stitched on this lace on the side of the final book page of The Old Man. And over here, um, we have another fun tuck spot on this end paper. It's been layered up again. Um, I love how this page looks, uh, Millie and her mother, and then the little cherub kind of like hiding out. It's almost like foreshadowing that something would be changing in their lives. Um, so inside I have this, um, this journal tag I guess it's it's a floating pocket so that's the original watercolor it's much brighter so I just toned down the front a little with some pink ink um, and behind it you see the cherub hiding there and some more of the book page collage and I made this um, this final tag of the, the little Millie saying forgotten the magic words and I thought it was kind of pensive like her sitting at the table you know thinking about her life thinking about like you know what maybe something was coming you know to her mind that it had been more than three days you know like I just kind of I like to kind of narrate a little story of my own <laughs> and then I added some lace on top it's backed with avocado dyed paper and it tucks right on in there and you see her peeking through this window and then this is the story um, that I include in all my journals it's kind of the note from me the bookmaker so it tells you a little bit about my journals so that wraps up Dear Millie and I hope that you like this journal. Um, if you're seeing this video, more than likely I've gotten the posting up on my Etsy. Sometimes it's a little bit delayed but usually not too bad. Um, so just keep your eye out. If you don't already follow me on Etsy, um, that's probably the best way to see my, my journals as fast as possible. Um, when I post them because you'll get that little that little updates notification but thank you so much for joining me anyhow um, and if you'd like to see more of my creative work and journal flip throughs please subscribe to my channel here it's nice to have a little community to chat with um, and enjoy your day thank you again so much have a great day